Hi, we are here at Diva Kish and I'm sitting with Ritu Dalmia. She's here to tell us all about Kish. How did it come about? The food at Diva Kish is basically Asian influence. So everyone says, I mean, you've always cooked Italian food. Why Asian? Bada Italian khana bana ke, ab noodles banane ka shok chade. You know, I think it's really, in some ways, unfair. It's like, if you speak English, if you learn Spanish, there's something wrong with you, okay? So, for me, it's really, it was like learning a new language. I've been doing Italian for so many years. I love Italian food. But at Latitude and Cafe Diva, we were experimenting with a lot of Asian food for the last two, three years. And I was getting a bit bored. I really needed something to get my brains working the way they used to work 20 years ago. I turned 40 last year, so for me it was really like learning a new language. When Diva opened in 2000, it was me and my team who had never cooked Italian because I don't know if you know, but we don't take trained chefs into my kitchen because I'm an untrained chef. So I don't want a trained guy and coming and telling me, Acha, madam, I said chop karo, aapko to chop karna hi nahi aata. So ego is very large. So we always take untrained people and train them the way we would like to cook. So here I am with my you know, group of what I call my motley crew, all of us. And these guys, no clue of any of the ingredients. And for one month, the amount of work I've done. I don't think I've done that much work in last 13 years. So, really? So much for a challenge of learning a new thing. My back hurts, my feet ache now, but it was great fun. So the menu keeps evolving? Absolutely. It's It's been, even so now, even now, like I said, we're so new at the moment. After a couple of weeks, we will relook at the menu to see where we can improve, where we can evolve. So uh, it's still in some ways work in progress. It's not only for me, Okay, I need something to stimulate me, but also for the clients because unfortunately or fortunately, we rely 95% on our regular guests who keep on coming back again. And I mean, even after a month, they say, now we are bored, change something. Right. So it's it works both ways. This is the way I look at it. For example, the classic prawn pomelo salad is very, very spicy. It uses a fish sauce. Now here at Kitch, I don't use fish sauce in any of my cooking. We don't use dry shrimps. I think there has to be purity in the ingredients. And the minute you put dry shrimp, etc., firstly, as you said, the sodium, whatever, yeah, and the mercury, and really the mercury hot. content. You know, I have a little home in Goa, and recently someone told me there that the highest number of kidney failures in India are happening all on the coastal belt because they're eating so much of dry shrimp, which has a head, eyes, everything. So, you know. Most of them get mercury. You like so, to avoid that. So stuff. I want to avoid that. I'm a scary poo. I'm a coward. So I didn't want oh. any. And don't forget, I come originally from a vegetarian family. So uh, in the early days, all my vegetarian family friends had huge problem whenever they were in Asia, Southeast Asia, because even the pace, everything, even it was vegetables. So we, as a policy, have decided to boycott oyster sauce, fish sauce, and any dry shrimps or dry fish. And if you'll see that after you've eaten it, you don't have this strong aftertaste in your mm. mouth. Mm. And it's very light, it's very healthy. Most of the starter section here, uh, in terms of the salads and the starters, by default or whatever, I mean, it just happens to be, they all are very, even for the mains, for example, the curries that we do, I mean, it's not overdosed with coconut. It's not overdosed with coconut milk. I mean, it's a much lighter version of it. What else do you have in your menu? Apart from the prawn and pomelo salad that you're eating, there's another favorite of mine called the Bomra's tomato salad. Bomra's tomato salad is basically blanched tomatoes with tamarind, jaggery, lots of herbs and ginger. I love that one. We have a Vietnamese spring roll with roasted pumpkin, rocket and artichoke. We have panko crusted taro with a honey lime drizzle. Wow. I have a very nice chilled avocado soup with fresh crab. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a beetroot tatar with uh, smashed avocado and wasabi. So you see the uh, Asian influences are just a hint and a flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not overly Asian, Asian like 
hardcore. In the main courses, my favorites are the yellowfin tuna burger. Then I have baby aubergines uh, filled with chili garlic paste in a very light broth of yogurt and fennel. Okay. So it's a mix between a curry and a Vietnamese curry. Okay. And the filling that you have of the eggplant with chili garlic paste is turkey influenced. Thank you, Ritu. So here we are saying goodbye from Diva Kish. Everything here is fabulously tasty. But you know what? The bonus is health, which is why you must come here. Yay. Goodbye.